this is SR Money Investment. Today we are again connected to discuss quickly what happened in the market today. Uh, we have already discussed in the last couple of videos that uh, Monday is very important and we were expecting that it's the market is going to bounce back, the stocks are going to bounce back. Uh, Tesla and NEO, a couple of the stocks were already on the key level and as is expected uh, S&P 500 has gone up almost 2.65%. Uh, Nasdaq 3.46, Dow 1.86, New York 2.32. So overall it was a good day for the market and even for if you see like for the Europe it was almost green for ev ev everywhere. Uh, China, uh, China was also green, Hong Kong was slightly green so not a very like um, uh, good day for the Hong Kong stocks and for uh, um, uh, Singapore. But other than that, in uh, Europe and in North America, it was a very good day. Uh, volatility, volatility index is almost came down 2.03%. That is a good sign. 10-year uh, yield is again 4%. Still 4%. Came down very slightly, 0.07%. Uh, but it's still hitting the four percent. It's need to be need to come down if this rally is gonna continue for a couple of days. So let's uh, cross fingers and let's hope for the best that ten yield is gonna come down and volatility is gonna come down again and then we see a couple of more greens for the markets. So let's quickly check what happened with the EV sector. EV sector, like you can see, is all green. Tesla is up by seven percent. There was no catalyst but still the Tesla performed well like we have discussed in our video yesterday very briefly that it was hitting the all time low and there was a huge expectation that it's going to bounce back because it's a good stock, it's a good investment and this company has a lot of potential, it's one of the biggest automobile manufacturer in the world and like uh, the leading uh, EV manufacturer as well. So that was the expectation and it's delivered beyond expectation. So 7% for the Tesla with this market cap is definitely quite a lot. Neo, uh, same for the Neo, like uh, expectation was to go up today from the key level 1176 and it's all, it almost uh, uh, closed to 3.91%. It was way up then 3.91% at one stage but uh, then uh, after like I guess afternoon it came down from 1262 to almost close to 1221. So uh, we are expecting again a green day for tomorrow and we are hoping that uh, this rally is going to continue. Uh, like it's these these stocks are already hit hard for the last couple of days and weeks so definitely these are already due for the quick run uh, xpeng is not that much it's just 2.86 percent lee like uh, i was not able to find any reason it it's uh, some some of the some of the time in the day it was red uh, whereas the all the other stocks were green so I don't know the reason but Lee was fluctuating between green and red in in a between the day and it's closed almost 1.23 percent up lucid 4.37 percent Rivian 6.93 percent so it was a good day overall for the market and it was good day for the new uh, let's like new is already trending above the 50 SMA and it's almost hitting the VWAP. So today the expectation is to go up from here and then uh, definitely cross the yesterday high of 1262 and try to reach the key level of 13. So that is the expectation with the new and uh, since the deliveries for October is going to be expected all time high. That's what the new has claimed that quarter three, uh, October, November and December every month is going to be a record high deliveries so if neo is going to deliver that and everybody is already expecting the good delivery numbers i don't see a reason that why the neo is not going to up so finger crossed it's already crossed the key level of 1176 close to 1221 and definitely like uh, look like uh, it not definitely look like it's going to go up tomorrow and it's probably going to be a green day for the markets too uh, this rally has just started. I hope that it's not going to fade away and then we will see a couple of good highs in coming future. For XPeng, let's quickly touch about the XPeng as well. XPeng is also basically coming up from the all-time low 8.16. Let's see like yeah 8.15. 
uh, it's better from the previous situation where that was 8.16 day before yesterday or yesterday but still it's like uh, again uh, not worth the price what it is right now uh, this stock is again has a potential it's not like similar to neo neo has a totally different market xpeng has a totally different market neo has a lot of lot more advantages compared to xpeng but xpeng is definitely doesn't deserve this price let's hope that xpeng is gonna bounce back and go up from there because it's almost came down 70 80 percent from the last like uh, peak of 35 dollar just like uh, five weeks or six weeks before so it's not something like um, expected from xpeng but it is what it is right now uh, other than that let's quickly see what happened with the tech sector tech sector is also all green uh, apple has performed really well uh, well it's it was up by almost four dollar 2.91 percent microsoft up by 3.92 percent google 3.53 percent amazon 6.45 percent facebook 5.74 percent chip stocks uh, basically i think they have already touched the bottom amd and nvidia especially 3.61 5.81 and seems like like they are coming back from all time lows so let's see like if these rallies are going to continue because if these rally need to be continued the tech is going to play a key role and we need support in a, a, like uh, in order to go up especially from the market leaders like apple and microsoft so let's hope for the best and let's finger crossed but uh, yeah like uh, things are looking in a good shape uh, the uh, it was a good day in the market uh, china stocks china is basically uh, despite all the news coming from the china that they are not going to comprise on a zero covid policy it was a good day for the chinese stocks it was all green uh, neo xpeng li uh, byd jd baba all green uh, pendul dual baidu like uh, they performed well uh, with the very reasonable margins so yeah let's hope like this uh, rally is going to continue and we will see a couple of more greens because all these stock stocks is definitely already hit hard for since so long uh, this this is the overall view of the market today it's all green good to see like green versus red after so many days so yeah uh, i'm very happy things are shaping up and as we have discussed on the weekend uh, things exactly happened the way we have forecasted so let's finger cross and let's hope for the best for upcoming days please do subscribe to this channel and hit the like button and do share your comments it's a new channel definitely there is a lot of chance for improvement and i'll be working on that based on your comments and feedback thank you